Welcome. So I have a big nice uh, problem here. It's a big complex fraction. But remember, now the rad, rather than having terms, we have actually expressions. We have some binomials. And I'll just put them in parentheses just to kind of understand that they are in their own kind of element. But again, the same thing we want to do in simplifying complex fractions is we just want to get rid of these. So um, there, let's go through a couple ways we could do that. We could either combine our numerator and denominator into simplified fractions and then just multiply by the reciprocal of your denominator, or we can multiply everything by the LCD of every single denominator. Now, that might look a little confusing to you at when first looking at this problem, but we notice that x squared minus 4, we can simplify that as a, using the difference of two squares. So x squared minus 4, as we notice, can be written as x minus 2 times x plus 2. And that's very, very helpful for us to understand because now I can see that my only denominators that I have is either an x minus 2 or an x plus 2. So when that tells me that those are my only denominators, it's pretty easy for me to now determine that my LCD is just going to be x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now remember, what we do with our LCD is we multiply it by every single term to eliminate all of our fractions. Okay, So now, when we multiply these, you can see that these divide out to 1. Both of these all divide out to 1. Here, my x plus 2's divide out to 1. And here, my x minus 2's divide out to 1. So therefore, I'm left with, when I go up here, I'm left with 3 times x plus 2 minus 6 all over 3 times x minus 2 plus 1 times x plus 2. Okay. So now, we can just go ahead and simplify our work a little bit, apply distributive property. All right, so therefore, I'm left with a 3x plus 6 minus 6 all over a 3x minus 6 plus x plus 2. Well, we know that those subtract to 0. And then those are going to go to a negative 4, and that becomes 4x. So therefore, I'm left with 3x in my, in my numerator. 3x plus x is going to be 4x. And negative 2 plus 2 is a minus 4. Therefore, now I can factor out a 4 to simplify this even further. So I have 3x divided by 4 times x minus 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify your complex fraction. Thanks.